Well, good morning. Today is a Saturday and we're about to hit the road again, but uh, I've got my little man say, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? But nothing happens before coffee, so let's do coffee. Coffee first. Yeah, coffee's first. Number one thing is coffee. Tell Daddy, how was coffee, mate? Good. Was it good? It was good. Was it 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, cool. All right, coffee was good. And now I we picked up a little yo-yo. I haven't played with one of these for years. Ready, Jay? Go, yo-yo. Show, show us what you got. Whoa! <laughs> good job, buddy. Good job. That's a good job. Daddy's going to spend the rest of the day doing it up, I believe. Do you think? Daddy's gonna spend the rest of the day doing it up. <laughs> All right, coffee's done. We're on a mission to find a black and white photograph. I've got a masterclass to film today for my Team 3CX community, and it's gonna be all about black and white. So we're gonna make our way to the country, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try and find either an isolate a single tree somewhere, or find some lovely rolling hills. It's about one o'clock, so we've got about three hours, three or four hours of uh, this harsh light, and then things will start to soften up, and it's gonna be amazing. So. Yeah, man, but just take a look around where I am now. I'm near a little river, near the Hunter River. It's not that little, it's massive. And uh, it's just beautiful. It's just a magical winter's day. Perfect, man. Man, this is what I love. So good to be alive. We're here, we're in the country. It's sold, but we didn't buy it, so unfortunately, <laughs> nice spot, but but we found this lovely spot. Look at behind us. I'm gonna do my lesson here. We've got these beautiful crisscross lines through here that'll make a lovely, lovely black and white. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> the cloud has fully come in and we're not gonna get that beautiful side light I was hoping for. That's okay, I might have to just show how to do some dodging and burning in post with this one. But it's still a beautiful, beautiful scene. And I've um, got my camera set up here, ready to go. 24 to 70, full frame Sony. And um, I've also got a uh, three stop graduated ND just to pull that sky back a little bit there. But um, it's just peaceful, just beautiful. Check this out, man, check this out.
One thing you can do when you're starting to see black and white too is change the creative style or the picture style, it's called in some cameras, um, to monochrome, okay? And what that'll allow you to do is to see the scene exactly how it looks if you convert it to black and white, okay? It's really, really handy. The other thing you can do too, guys, is on your cell phone, you can even convert that camera to black and white and hold it up to the scene, and that'll give you an idea of what's gonna look like, okay? So a tip with this, if you wanted to keep that black and white in camera, you need to shoot like RAW and JPEG, and that JPEG image will be converted to a black and white version in camera, and you'll still have the RAW file to go ahead and do what you wanna do with, but it's just a, just a handy way to see what your camera's seeing the scene but um it, you know what it's going to look like in black and white so super super cool well guys unfortunately the light we didn't get that beautiful side light i was after so i'm gonna have to dodge and burn this bad boy to get to really accentuate those lines crisscrossing through the scene but um super awesome it's been an awesome day out here and i can't wait to wait to get this photograph in Lightroom, convert it to black and white, and uh, man, I'm just gonna hang around for a few more minutes, because you just never know. It just, the light changes right up until it's absolutely gone. So, I'm just gonna hang around, but I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling, this is it. I think this is all we're gonna get. It's gonna be a little bit flat, plenty of drama in those clouds, which is nice. That'll look good in black and white, but uh, we're gonna have to do some dodging and burning that foreground. All right, I'll see you in post-processing. Yes!